Hello guys, today we are going to install Evolution X Android 14 ROM on OnePlus 5T. I hope you all are doing well. Now let's start the process. You can see right now I'm running Project Elixir Android 13 3.13. But first of all, we have to make sure that we have installed TWRP recovery, which supports which supports dynamic partitions. Android 14 Evolution X ROM only works with dynamic partitions. You can see this page here. You can find this release of TWRP, which supports dynamic partitions. I'll leave a link in the description below. So let's start. Firstly, we have to boot this in recovery mode so first power it off then volume up plus power button then release select recovery mode You can see that this version supports dynamic partitions. You can see the version DYN. Now just wipe. I suggest you to back up if you have important data. Now plug the USB. Mount it. Click install and swipe. You can see the Evolution X ROM, it is now booted. Let's set it. Some of the features that I wanted to tell you that people always look for. So firstly, people always ask whether the pill can be hidden this navigation pill so there is an option you can see navigation hint you can hide it the pill is hidden now another feature that people always look for is this let me show you since this is an amoled phone so people always look for this black dark mode you can see all the pixels in the black region are off now and one more thing mm, smart pixels so you can turn off certain pixels of your phone you can see 75 percent are turned off using this you can save a lot of battery it not at all feel laggy everything is super smooth everything works fine also you get this papers application where you find these uh, evolution x wallpapers if you are interested you can see this let's check the safety net it passes the safety net so you can run payment applications without any problem also I see here that this device is certified can see device is certified so no issues with any payment applications let's check the Antutu benchmark score
so you can see the benchmark scores the battery has dropped to 9% and the temperature has risen to 0.6%. The temperature is very well maintained.